Good morning, you guys. I think this is actually going to be the start of a new vlog. What day is it today? Today is Wednesday, March 24th. So I posted my moving vlog a couple of days ago and I'm just going to continue, continue vlogging, do another probably like weekly vlog situation. So yeah, it is Wednesday morning. It is 9.18 a.m. and I just finished editing and now I'm exporting today's video. I'm like getting kind of more settled and on track um, and by the way, doing a lot better mentally. Um, I know in my last vlog, I was talking about how my depression had gotten bad again and um, I'm already feeling better. So that's good, but um, <laughs> Yes, hopefully that, that keeps up, um, but I'm still not like fully on track with my life. Like I'm editing, to, or I just edited today's video this morning um, and I don't like that. I like when I'm like scheduled ahead. So yeah, I mean, I'll get back on top of it. It's just going to take like a week or two to kind of just like settle in and feel organized again. Um, but yeah, I am feeling a lot better just as things are like progressing and um, the home is getting more organized and whatnot i am feeling better so that's good um thank you so much for all of your kind comments just being supportive and um like validating the way i'm feeling and um i know a lot of people go through depression and anxiety and it's rough so yeah it's just nice to um i guess just like have support and validation from others so right now <laughs> I don't know why I always put like my short tripod down and then I freaking squat. But um, right now I am so hungry. I've been up since 6.30, but I haven't eaten yet. So I'm going to make some breakfast. I think I'm gonna make what I had yesterday, which is um, cut up fruit with a little bit of yogurt and pumpkin seeds and cacao, just like a little like parfait, I guess. Um, so I'm going to make that. so good i'm so excited to eat that and strangely i'm craving just like a nice cup of tea so that's what i'm gonna have i don't know what kind i want though let's see this is a little unorganized but that's okay um i think i'm gonna have licorice I had licorice last night and it was really good, so I'm gonna have that again. Licorice spice. I have not vlogged in quite some time now. It's honestly been like weeks, um, just for a couple different reasons, which I'm sure a lot of you already know. Um, just being super busy from moving and my mental health has been like this and yeah it's just been a lot so i decided i wasn't going to push myself to vlog when i just like didn't feel like i was in the headspace for it so i took a few weeks off of that my hair is crazy today like my bangs are sticking up so much because i had them pushed back with a headband while i was doing my skincare and stuff anyways i am back on the vlogging so today is april 11th or wait, 12th? Today's April 12th. And I am just, I just got ready. I just finished editing a video. I'm sending it 
to the sponsor for approval and I just sat down to eat some lunch. So this is my lunch for today. This is, let me show you here. This is actually my, my leftovers from last night and this is a Greek platter basically. There's oyster mushroom calamari, um, roasted potatoes, Greek salad, pita, there's just a tiny piece left, uh, tzatziki, hummus, and it is so freaking good. But you guys, this makes me feel like crap every time I eat it just because it's so fried and just like, you know, obviously pretty unhealthy. So I don't eat it very often, but I had like half of it left over and I told myself I wasn't going to eat it. I offered it to Shane, but he didn't, he didn't take it to work today. So here I am having it for lunch. Even though it's gonna make me feel crappy, I guess I'll just have to eat like light healthy things for the rest of the day. So I just decided I was going to start the vlog now and yeah, it's so weird because the past like hour while I was getting ready and stuff, I kept hearing noises and it literally sounded like someone was, someone was in the house. Like I thought maybe our landlord was coming here or something, I don't know. Um, but I looked outside and there's no cars and the dogs were both sleeping, like they weren't barking. So I was like, am I just hearing things? like? Because the dogs would normally bark if, you know, something was going on. But they were just sleeping. Um, and then Cadence woke up and she went to the downstairs door and started barking. And it really freaked me out. So I took her outside and, like, went around the house looking for, like, anything suspicious. And, like, I was too scared to go downstairs. That's why I went outside. And I was, like, seeing if the, d the door was locked. And it is. So, I don't know. It's just so weird. And now I'm just, like, kind of on edge. Um, and I like made Cadence go downstairs and like look around and she didn't bark at anything But she's like very friendly. So I don't even know if she would bark at someone if they were there um, Olive would but she Olive refused to go down and then I like went down Didn't see anything weird. Um, but I didn't actually walk around because I was scared <laughs> But yeah, so that's a weird Weird thing that's going on today um, Anyways, I'm gonna eat my lunch. Hopefully I don't get murdered um and then I think I'm gonna film another video. I've been so behind with filming, you guys. I missed two uploads last week, so stressful. And I've barely been posting on Instagram. Um, yeah, I don't know what my problem was. Well, I was depressed for like three weeks, so that sucked. But um, yeah, I'm feeling good now. I am feeling uh, more motivated and energetic. Um, and it should be a fun week. I actually, uh, Shannon just called me and she booked an appointment for us to go get our nails done tomorrow, which I am so excited about because I've never like had nails and I always, always, always have wanted them. Um, and like, obviously with my job, I couldn't have them. So I was always like one day, you know, if I'm not doing nursing, I am going to get nails. So that's going to be such a fun treat. It's Shannon's birthday next week, I think. So she suggested it and yeah, I'm really excited to do that. But yeah, the past couple days have been good. I'm just like trying really hard to just like, I don't know get my mental health on lock and just like make my life the way I want it to be like I don't know I'm just I guess I'm just like focusing more on gratitude and um just like things that are going to help me like exercise and I want to get back into meditation and eating really well and just creating just making my life what I want to be you know um because I have the total like flexibility and freedom to do that now so I just need to do it so yeah, something that um, I did last week, I think on Friday, yeah, um, it's today's Monday. So on Friday, uh, Shannon and I went and jumped in the ocean, which it's freezing here right now. You, I mean, our ocean is always cold, um, but it is like very cold, freezing, frigid. Um, so we went for a, an icy plunge basically, and it, we felt so great after, it was awesome. Um, so that's something that I would definitely like to try again, but yeah, anyways, um, I did have, I did vlog a little bit when I was finishing with my move. So if there are any clips from that, that I don't know, are salvageable, I will play those now. Okay. It is like 8 PM and I just came over to my old place to basically move everything else out. Um, there's just like random odds and ends that, were, that I left here. A lot of like 
um, saucers I'm noticing. Apparently I just moved all of the plants and left all of their saucers. So those will be good to have. But yeah, I'm just, I brought some bins and boxes and I'm just gonna throw everything in and just get everything 100% cleared out of here except for cleaning supplies because tomorrow I'm going to come and do the cleaning, which like, ugh, it's not gonna be fun. Um, I'm like thinking every, I'm like thinking now that I should have just opted to pay someone <laughs> to clean it, but I don't know, my like cheap ass is just like, I'll do it, even though it's gonna take me so long, not because it was like really dirty or anything, just cause I'm like thorough, I guess, and I'll do it right, so yes. But anyways, I stopped at the store on my way and got myself a diet coke which is so naughty and i would usually not buy the diet one i don't know why i was compelled to buy this i guess i just like didn't want the sugar so late even though this has caffeine i don't know i don't know how to how my brain works sometimes but anyways i'm gonna do that now so <laughs> guys i am in my old place for the last time and i am so happy about it i cleaned the whole place um over the past couple of days because i'm a good person and a good tenant and that is what people do or should do yeah it's just like so exciting that i'm almost done with everything here and i can just close this chapter of my life because lord knows that it was an interesting ride and i've been thinking about it and i still feel just like really bitter and just like upset that i have to go through so much crap here but honestly it's fine there was good things that happened here too and i learned some important lessons and now i'm like saving harder than ever to um save up a down a down payment on a house and yeah, so there was definitely good things that came out of this experience. This is where I was living when I decided to do YouTube full time. And yeah, there was good things too. So it's not all bad. But yeah, I thought I would just kind of show you guys what it looks like all clean and empty before I mop the floors. It looks so weird without all my plants. Like what the heck? It looks so sterile. Yeah, it looks so, it looks so weird here, especially without Greta. Yeah, it's all empty. My bedroom. Look, the neighbor's garbage is still. <laughs> I will not miss that view. And all clean and empty. All clean and empty. So weird to see it empty again. It's crazy that I only lived here for six months because it literally feels like it was so long. But yeah, I'm just going to do the mopping now and then yeah, I'm officially done. Well, I guess I will have to come back here one more time to do the walkthrough with the property manager. But after that, that's it. Okay, it is later in the day. I actually just got back from the plant store. I stopped to pick up some pumice. So I got a couple of bags like this. I've been looking for like larger bags of pumice, but all places seem to carry is bags like this size. So I don't know. Um, that's gonna be for my DIY pawn. And then while I was at one of the plant shops, I picked up a new little friend. So this is a false Aurelia and I don't know why I was just really drawn to it. I know I've seen them before and thought like, wow, that's like kind of an interesting um, different plant. But yeah, I came across this one. It was $17.99. I got it from Gardenworks if you live on the island. Um, and yeah, it just looks so cool. I love it. I love it's like long kind of 
leaves you're not able to see it very well but um yeah it's really pretty don't know anything about them so i'm gonna have to look up the care but i just bought that on a whim i really don't buy um plants anymore when i'm like out at plant shops usually when i go to the garden centers and plant shops and stuff like that i am just grabbing supplies so it's kind of fun to just like pick out a new plant in person rather than ordering online or something I feel out of breath for no good reason. Um, so now it is almost five o'clock. I ended up just doing basically like a lot of prep for the video that I'm filming later today. I like wrote um, basically like the general, everything I wanted to cover in the video and um, like set everything up. So I'm pretty much ready to film. So I think I'm gonna do that now while there's still some light out and then probably make something to eat for dinner. And yeah, then hopefully, I think this evening I'm just gonna do some plant care. Lately in the evenings, I've just been doing like an hour of, oh my gosh, our washer makes the sink make such a weird noise. Uh, I've been doing like an hour of just like plant watering or plant care, so I'll probably do that and call it a night. Oh yeah, and an update on my lunch. Yeah, the fried mushroom calamari. It's just not a great idea. It's just never a great idea. I definitely feel like crap after that. My stomach is just like unwell. We're vlogging. Why are we vlogging? Because <laughs> I'm trying to do the vlog again. Mm. My hair's crazy because I just took out my ponytails. I just finished filming my video and we are going to take the dogs for a walk. But we have to put the little car seat dog cover thing because it just got cleaned. So I'm going to do that. It's so nice and... Oh, did either of us bring the key? No, you did. Okay. The car is so clean! It's so nice. Look at that. All clean. Hey, honey. Oh. So we got the girls' little seat belts. We put the seat cover in there. Hey, Olive! Hey! She's on the run already. Come here. Okay. Get her, Let's get these. Let's get all of them on the other side, honey. Okay. I don't really have anywhere to put the camera. All right, so we're testing out these new dog seat belts. I don't know how this is gonna go, to be quite honest, but Cadence, they're like clipped into the seat belt come here. like thing, and then onto the dog's harness. So they're, you know, supposed to like stay put. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It is Tuesday, so we are just actually at a gas station right now, um, getting some fuel, and we're just dropping Shane off at work. I usually drive him to work. Well, actually, he drives, and then I drive on the way back, and then I pick him up, and then he drives home. <laughs> we, like, switch so that I'm not just driving every single time. But, yeah, that's what we are up to right now. I feel like my eyelash is so weird on this side. So this morning I finished editing the video that I filmed yesterday and then I uploaded it and I have a video scheduled for Thursday. My upload schedule is so weird this week. Normally I upload on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, but this week I guess I'm uploading on Tuesday and Thursday um, and then maybe I'll do one for Saturday too. I don't know. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my upload schedule because yeah i just don't know it's just a lot um and it's so crazy with how many platforms there is to keep up with now like instagram tiktok youtube patreon 
um yeah it's just a lot so i'm like thinking about decreasing my youtube uploads to just two a week um because three seems to really be swamping me but i think maybe it'll be manageable once i'm just like i don't know caught up on everything so we'll see anyways i am really hungry i did have toast this morning but i definitely need something else i think maybe i'll make a smoothie or something when i get home and then right now i think it's about 10 o'clock and then at one o'clock i'm going to be picking shannon up because we have to go to our nail appointment which i'm so excited i think i'm gonna do like multicolored like rainbow nails each one a different color um i don't know i feel like that would be fun i was gonna do just like the different colored tips um, because I've seen that going around online and it looks really cool, but I kind of just want the whole nail to be colorful. I just want something fun, but not like too complicated because it's the first time I'm ever getting my nails done. So I'm so excited. So that's the plan for today. When I get back home, I definitely need to do some watering. I have like some serious, serious watering to do. Um, oh my goodness. I feel like I've just been neglecting my plants like crazy. Like they are going to croak on me. So I'm gonna do that before I pick up Shannon and yeah I have a whole bunch of stuff to bring to Shannon too um, we always have like each other's belongings and um, uh, she made lasagna so she's um, giving me some lasagna which I'm so excited about but yeah looks like Shane is done pumping the gas good man how did it go um. <laughs> you don't like being in the vlog. <laughs> okay, we're gonna drop him off at work and then yeah, that's pretty much what my day is gonna look like. So I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, I'm home. I'm just making some coffee now. Let's see if I can put my camera here. That kind of works. I tied my hair up. It can go into like this little cute bun now. <laughs> So I just tied it up. It's so greasy. I get my roots um, done tomorrow. So I always let my hair be like six days dirty for that. So that my scalp doesn't burn off from the bleach. But yeah, I'm going to make my coffee right now. And then I'm probably going to water some plants. Or I have to... Yeah, I uploaded my video. So I'm going to answer... I like to hop on for like half an hour and answer comments whenever I upload. So I'll probably do that and then, then water my plants. Oh yeah, and I'm hungry. I need to eat something still now too. My goodness. So much to do so little time. We are currently drinking this salt spring coffee, which is pretty dang good. Organic, fair trade. Um, but it's the whole bean, so we're, we're grinding coffee all the time now. But that's okay. Okay, I'm just going to go sit down and respond to some of these comments on my newest video. Thank you so much to everyone who comments. I super, super appreciate it. Good morning vlog. Oh my god, I look terrible, but that's fine. So, I didn't really update yesterday. It was just like so hectic and um, yeah, I, I told you what was going on. So. Yesterday I went and got my nails done with Shannon and it was so much fun and I just wish that I could have got some clips for the vlog but first of all I always get anxious when it's like my first time going somewhere that I've never been before and second of all my hands were like I w like literally wasn't able to you know use my hands obviously because I was getting my nails done so um yeah but we went and it was so fun I will show you how my nails turned out so I did like multicolor rainbow nails and I'm so in love with them they're just like an almond shape um if my camera will focus there we go they're acrylics and they're not like super long but yeah I'm so in love with them it's just it's so fun oh my goodness um like I said, I'd, I've never had my nails done before and I've wanted nails for like years and years, but obviously with my job, I wasn't able to have them. So yeah, it's honestly like, I don't know. It's just like symbolic for me. Yeah. And Shannon got uh, nails for 
her birthday it's her i think i mentioned this i think i'm just repeating myself um but yeah i'll insert a photo of both of our nails here anyways it is the next day it is now wednesday and i was supposed to be getting my roots done this morning which is why my hair is so disgusting um but my uh hairdresser rescheduled um tentatively to tonight at 6 p.m so that kind of frees up my morning which is actually kind of nice to be honest except for my hair being disgusting i just can't wait until it's washed but yeah we'll see if that um if i end up getting my roots done tonight so i guess i'm just going to work um until like 3 p.m today it's nine right now i've just been doing emails um catching up on just like some financial like invoices and stuff like that um and what else have i been doing responding to comments on yesterday's video i scheduled my video for tomorrow um yeah just like admin kind of boring stuff oh i did get some fun stuff in the mail did i show you this yesterday why is my memory just like gone I think I did, but I haven't opened like opened them yet. So um, I got some potting mats in the mail from Leaflet. Maybe I didn't show the vlog. I honestly don't remember. I know I posted them on Instagram, but I got two potting mats from Leaflet Co. And yeah, so these are like handmade potting mats. And I'm just so stoked to finally have a potting mat because I've been repotting on my freaking Tupperware bin forever. So you get to choose. Oh my gosh, it matches my nail. You get to choose the color of the snaps. So I chose this green and I'm so excited. I haven't unrolled them yet. So I thought I would do that on the vlog. And then I also got, oh my gosh, I actually have like a, a few planty things to show you. So I'll do that in a moment. But yeah, I'm just going to be working until like 3 p well like 2 30 and then at three o'clock i have to go pick up shane from work and then we have a gym appointment because you have to book like time slots at our gym now um we have a gym appointment at 3 30 and then possibly my hair appointment at 6 p.m so um it's gonna be another full day i just yesterday was such a full day it was so crazy but maybe let's open let's unroll these little potting mats right now oh I just feel like the most hectic person in the world lately, you guys. Like, I feel like I can't catch up on anything. I'm scatterbrained. I'm all over the place, but it's fine. Oh, cute. There's like a little, oh, my girl light like just turned on. They're always like turning on and off in my videos. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And then it just has the snaps that you do up to make it into a little like enclosed surface for you. So cool. I can't believe I finally have potting mats. I love that this one is small just to do like quick things. Look at how cute that is. I love that. So this one is the palm. It's called the palm print and this is the smaller size. I think this is called like the palm mini or something. And then they sent me the large one in just clear. I think they were out of the palm or something. So they, that's why they sent me both. And let's see how big this one is. It's a pretty decent size. Do up the snappies. This one definitely does give you bit more room cute really excited about those and then let me show you what else I got <laughs> I'm like in my like pajamas here okay this actually didn't come in the mail I picked this up from my friend but I got this Osmo coat Osmo coat yeah plus a uh, slow release fertilizer for my pawn that i'm going to be doing now i have all the ingredients so i have no excuse i need to start experimenting with that so yeah i got a whole little bucket of this and i'm also probably going to use this in some of my plants that i like don't really get around to fertilizing that often ones that i kind of neglect and then i have a package from they are called humane organics i believe yes um so this actually has fertilizer in it as well so let me get something to open this box 
they reached out to me on Instagram and sent this. So it was gifted. Little thank you card. Cute, so nice. And then this is what it looks like inside the box. Oh, I'm so excited. So funny how some things can make you so excited. Like fertilizer, I'm like, yes. Um, so this, are these all the same? I need to look into this brand because I honestly haven't. Um, I like looked at their Instagram and I was like, oh, they seem like a pretty awesome company. Okay, so they're different. Oh, cool. Okay, so this one is for succulents, it looks like. It says succulent therapy. They're in like these little shaker bottles. So um, it's non-toxic, organic and natural, sustainably crafted, family farm owned and operated, nutrient rich, made in the US, made with pets and people in mind. So... It says, shake a generous amount, one to two tablespoons, onto the soil around the plant, then add water. Don't worry, succulent therapy is organic and will neither burn nor scorch your plants. I wonder what it looks like. I'll have to open these later. I'll show you guys when I try them out. And then, since we're just on a roll here, I'm gonna show you. This came in the mail just this morning, um, and it is a cloud print sweater. I love this so much. So one of my favorite clothing makers, designer people um, is actually local. She lives in Victoria and I've posted a lot about her stuff in the past. Like I always wear her bralettes and underwear and um, stuff like that. And she came out with a new line that's all cloud print. So I got this sweater and it's just too cute. It's just a gray um, like crew neck sweater. I haven't tried it on yet, but I'm really excited to try it on. I had just been like waiting for this launch and it was so hard to choose what I wanted, but I ended up going with the sweater just because I like honestly wear sweaters all the time. I'm cold blooded, so that's exciting. Um, and it's always nice to support local and like handmade designers, it's just so cool. And um, they sent me this little patch as well. I love this like squiggly smiley. I'm gonna go now, I have to shower, have breakfast, do the whole thing. So yeah, hopefully later I will have something to update. Hopefully I will get my roots done. I will let you guys know. We're going to Costco. Oops, <laughs> our favorite place. <laughs> We're Costco people now. We just finished our shop at Costco and we finished working out at the gym. Right? Mm. <laughs> crickets, crickets, crickets. Um, so we're heading home now. And then I have to go straight to my hair appointment. My hair appointment is on, which is really good because my roots are getting really bad and my hair is so greasy, so I'm happy about that. Good morning, it is Friday. So last time we spoke, oh, let me pause this. Last time we spoke, I believe that we had just finished getting some groceries at Costco and then I went to get my roots done. They're so fresh, feels so nice to have them done. I'm just like, okay, good for another, you know, couple months here. So I did that, which took me like literally the rest of the night. I got home, I don't know, sometime after nine o'clock, like 9.15 or 9.20 or something like that. And then we just went to bed. Um, yesterday I was just kind of working. Actually, yesterday I did do one thing that was kind of fun. I rearranged the whole dining room and I put all of Greta's vines up. Look at her, oh my gosh. And then I ended up, here, let me actually show you. I ended up leaving some like behind, trailing behind the plant shelf there. This plant shelf still needs to be organized, but yeah, the dining room just looks so much better. Like it actually looks kind of cute now and I hated it before. Um, it's still kind of a hot mess. We got a bunch of art, like weird art that Shane had framed. Um, so we need to hang hang some of that up but yeah lots of weird weird stuff here whoops oh my gosh this one is actually my favorite i feel like it's really relatable 
Anyways, so yeah, but the only thing is I have this shelf that I don't know what, what I'm going to do with it now. I just felt like it was too much having two shelves in here. So there's just that one now over there. And then this side just kind of has some plants and a mirror that we have nowhere to put. So it's just going to chill there. But yeah, so I did that yesterday. And then this morning I drove Shane to work. It's around nine o'clock right now. I've been up since six. Drove Shane to work um, and then came home. And I've basically just been researching period panties, honestly, um, because I'm just, I'm just trying to find a routine that works for me that's like sustainable and yeah, it's a whole journey. I have some already, but I'm just trying to decide what brand I should get um, or if I should rebuy. The ones I have are Thinks. Um, and I know that there was like a whole weird thing with someone finding chemicals in them or something, but I think that that's been like resolved like I think that they're okay I don't really know um it's a stressful decision to make but anyways that's what I've been doing for like way too long now probably like the past hour or so um and then I came across a video by I think her name is Shelby this is her YouTube this is her YouTube, but she makes um, like sustainable kind, like her YouTube channel is all about like sustainable, um, like low waste and whatnot. But I've just been watching some of those videos now just while I make my breakfast, which is a smoothie. So I'm just about to add water and blend this up, but I thought I would show you. So in here I have strawberries, frozen banana, frozen kale. I just like freeze all of this and put it in my freezer, obviously. <laughs> wow. And then I have some medjool dates, which are really good. They make smoothies so delicious. They make everything delicious, honestly. And then I have some flax and hemp hearts. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to add some water, blender up, and then have that bre for breakfast smoothie is made this is actually so good i swear dates are the secret ingredient i think i'm actually gonna hop in the shower i just take this with me does anyone else like bring drinks like sometimes i'll bring my coffee into the shower too i don't know it just saves time <laughs> so i'm just gonna have a quick shower and then i'm gonna sit down and like figure out what i need to do today i want to make a soup i might actually do that this morning i'm kind of in a cooking mood and then i, then I always like set myself up for productivity because I feel productive for making something. I don't know, I might do that, but I'm gonna go shower right now. Okay, I just finished getting ready, kind of. I put my hair in a ponytail. I don't know, I just like, my haircut is getting weird because it's growing out and I don't know what to do with it next. Like, I don't know if I wanna grow my bangs out. Or if I want to cut them shorter, or I just don't really know. I reshaved the sides of my head though because it was just so scruffy. But yeah, I'm just at a point where I don't know. Should I get the mullet like recut how it was? Or yeah, I don't know. So for now, it's just in a ponytail today. My mom just texted me. Okay, now I'm going to make this Italian wedding soup with lentil meatballs. This is in a magazine, actually. Forks Over Knives magazine that we randomly came across at the grocery store. And it actually has some um, recipes that look really good. So I'm gonna make this Italian wedding soup. I've never had Italian wedding soup before. Like even before I was vegan, I've never, no idea what it's like, so. Um, I was soaking my lentils overnight. Holy crap, they expanded so much. Look at them. I have a huge bowl of lentils now. All right. Oh my gosh, they absorbed all of the water. Wow. <laughs> Clearly I don't cook lentils from raw <laughs> very often. <laughs> so I'm gonna chop everything and prepare everything I need to cook this and then hopefully I have a delicious hearty soup. I guess I'll be able to eat it for lunch, so. Perfect. So these are my lentil meatballs. They're not round because the mixture, I knew it was gonna be too wet um, because my lentils were really wet. I think I overcooked them. I'm not, I don't cook lentils often. So yeah, I probably should, honestly. They're so good for you. Um, but 
I didn't want to re-blend it with more of the oats, so I thought it would be fine if they're not like perfectly round, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna pop these in the oven and we'll see what happens. I've never made uh, meatballs before. Okay, there is the soup. It's just finishing. Those are my lentil meatballs that I'm gonna have uh, all ready to go. I'm gonna put another batch in and yeah, hopefully the soup is good. Look at how messy I am when I cook. So all of the recipes in this um, Forks Over Knives uh, magazine are, well, I don't know if this is if all of them are, but they seem to be mostly oil free, which is really nice, but I'm also used to cooking with oil. So um, yeah, I'm just curious how this will taste. I will let you guys know. Okay, so this is how it turned out. It actually looks not bad it looks pretty good the meatballs you know they look a little funky but that's because they're healthy okay um i topped it with salt pepper some parsley and nutritional yeast so yeah i'm really excited for this to cool down so i can try it okay the soup was actually pretty good like it was definitely it definitely tasted healthy um it wasn't like amazing but it was pretty good um yeah so Right now, I'm just gathering my laptop and everything that I need to edit because I'm gonna start editing this vlog. I only have about an hour before I need to go pick up Shane and then we're going to the gym. Um, so I'm just going to start editing this because I wanna post it tomorrow morning. So, yes, off I go to do that. Do I have everything I need? I need my hard drive. Oh my goodness, okay. I should edit sitting at my desk because it's way better for my posture, but I'm gonna do it on the couch. I'm so bad. We're waiting to get in for our gym session. It's so nice out, so sunny. I started editing the vlog at home before I left, but I didn't get super far because I had to come pick this one up. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to go inside the gym. I like rolled my eyes the first time. <clears throat> and then you just did nothing? And then I just did nothing. Mm. Okay. We're doing lower body today, which is always a nightmare for me. My lower body is so weak. I mean, my upper body is not super strong either, but it's definitely a lot easier for me than lower body. I guess I don't need my sunglasses in there. Um, got my bands. <laughs> oh. Before I was trying to park right beside me. Okay, I'm gonna go get in line.